Uh, have you ever wondered how search engines find similar items quickly or thought about the magic behind the recommended for you section on your favorite streaming platform? A significant part of the answer lies in a concept known as locality sensitive hashing or LSH. Today we'll unravel the mystery of this intriguing technique used in machine learning. Imagine you are in a vast library with millions of books. You are looking for books similar to your favorite one. It would be a daunting task to compare your book with each one in the library. This is where locality sensitive hashing comes into play. LSH is a method used to find similar items in a large data set, much like our vast library, but it does so in a fraction of the time. So how does it work? Let's break it down step by step. Firstly, we need to understand what a hash function is. A hash function takes an input or message and returns a fixed size string of bytes. The output, also known as the hash value, typically looks random and changing even a small part of the message will produce a completely different hash value. But locality sensitive hashing is a different breed of hash function. It aims to maximize the probability that similar items map to the same buckets or hash values, hence the term locality sensitive. This is the magic that allows us to find similar items quickly. The first step in locality sensitive hashing is to represent our items as points in a multidimensional space. For instance, Books in our library example could be represented as points based on features like genre, length and author. The next step is to define our hash functions. Each hash function corresponds to a random line or plane in higher dimensions that divides our space into two halves. Each item is then assigned a binary hash depending on which side of the line it falls. By repeating this process with many hash functions, we create a binary fingerprint for each item. Items with similar fingerprints are likely to be similar to each other. Finally, we store these fingerprints in a hash table. When we need to find items similar to a given one, we simply look up its fingerprint in the hash table and retrieve the items with matching or closely matching fingerprints. In a nutshell, locality sensitive hashing is a technique that transforms the problem of finding similar items into a much simpler task of comparing binary fingerprints. It does this by ensuring that similar items are likely to have similar fingerprints. This is the secret source behind the speed and efficiency of many search and recommendation algorithms. To summarize, locality sensitive hashing is a hash function that maximizes the probability of similar items mapping to the same buckets. It works by representing items as points in a multidimensional space, dividing that space with random lines to create binary fingerprints and storing these fingerprints in a hash table for easy lookup. This technique is a cornerstone in machine learning, powering many of the search and recommendation features we use every day. So the next time you marvel at the speed of your search engine or the accuracy of your music recommendations, remember the unsung hero, locality sensitive hashing. It's a testament to the power of clever algorithms and the ongoing innovation in the field of machine learning.